what the speech lacked was a clear fiscal plan to address our most significant economic challenges. So first and foremost would be the current state of the economy. And just to put a few numbers behind that, we lost 9 million jobs to the recession. The job growth we've seen in the recovery hasn't been enough to keep up with population growth. So we actually need to make up 12 million jobs now to get back to normal labor market conditions. Um, the unemployment rate has been above 8% for almost three years now. That's unprecedented since, the, since World War II. Um, and the underemployment rate, if you count folks who are not working as many hours as they'd like or who have given up looking for work because they're so discouraged, then you're at 15% at of the workforce. Um, and then just another pernicious element of the labor market situation is that 40% of the unemployed have been without jobs for six months or longer. And every day they go without jobs is either losing skills, their attachment to the labor force is eroding, um, and it makes it harder to put these folks back to work. So what we really need to address this significant economic challenge is we need a two-part plan. And the first part is measures that address the short-run labor market problems, um, partly through boosting aggregate demand. So the president had, you know, he, he, in his Labor Day speech, he put out a, a package um, that would, would essentially do this. And he came back to some of those measures last night. He talked about extending the payroll tax cut. He talked about more infrastructure spending. He talked about ways to get workers back into, to help them find jobs. Um, and he added a few new things. So most significantly, he added um, a proposal, which would have to be passed by Congress, to have the FHA refinance um, underwater mortgages uh, that are, 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 were issued by private issuers as opposed to Fannie and Freddie, such that they can take advantage to, of the really low interest rates the Fed has created for us. Um, so, so he did list these things, but he didn't package them together, and he didn't put any specific numbers behind it. So, so he didn't really lay out a clear plan there. But then there's the second part of what we need to do now, and that is to address our long-run debt problems. And you know, people argue it's not a big deal for the economy right now because these problems aren't showing through to uh, financial markets in the form of higher interest rates on long-run government bonds. But I think that's just, just wrong. I think these debt problems are creating this cloud of uncertainty about you know, whether financial markets will suddenly react and how the government's going to tackle these problems, what that will mean for firms and businesses, and that is hindering firms and businesses from, from planning, from spending, from hiring. And um, again, the president kind of hinted about the deficit issue. He talked about specific ways that you could reduce the deficit. Um, the blueprint has a sentence saying we need a, a plan to tackle our long-run deficit problems, but he didn't really come close to laying out a clear, comprehensive plan. And so, so just to, to sum up, I think there certainly were interesting elements of the speech, um, but I think the lack of a clear fiscal plan really was a disservice to the economy.